God, I ask that your Holy Spirit speak through me. I ask it in your name and for your sake. Amen. Proverbs 12.25 says, Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. All people want is a kind word. That's all they want. In Matthew 5, 13-16, Jesus says, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. Also known as Joseph, Barnabas was Jewish and a member of the Christian community in Jerusalem. His name, which means son of encouragement, aptly describes his steadfast support of many in the church. Acts 11.24 describes him as a good man filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. Barnabas was an early disciple in the New Testament church. He was a Levite from Cyprus, an island in the Mediterranean Sea, about 60 miles off the coast of Israel. Barnabas later visited the island of Cyprus on the first missionary journey with the Apostle Paul and again on a second journey with Mark. When Barnabas became a Christian, he sold his land, all of his land, and gave the money to the Jerusalem Apostles. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 says, Therefore encourage one another and build one another up and build one another up just as you are doing. Being an encourager takes time and investment. Hebrews 10, 23-25 says, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. We observe then that Barnabas was not only a man to be trusted with money, but he also was a faithful friend who took the risk of associating with Paul in those early days soon after Paul's conversion soon after Paul's conversion Barnabas was an encourager of Paul who later became a dynamic leader in the early church writing many books in the New Testament Acts 11:24 describes Barnabas as a good man filled with the Holy Spirit and faith Do you know anyone like this I know someone like this and how much the world needs encouragers today. This person, like people you probably know, also has a kind, patient spirit and honestly cares about what happens to people and has true and has true godly love and has true godly love for people they come in contact with. They are slow to judge and quick to forgive. They are not easily offended and don't quickly give up on difficult people who enter their life. God sends people into our lives to prepare us for the path He has for us. Though evil men and seducers are waxing worse and worse today, as it says in 2 Timothy 3.13, and churches too many times are no longer a thorn in the flesh of the world, even in these churches, God will put sometimes a Sunday school teacher or someone else who seems out of step, as it says in the Bible, quote, a peculiar person, a person as in 1 Peter 2.9 and Deuteronomy 14.2, who, if you could look back on the life of any encourager you know today, this peculiar person inspired this encourager as a young person to do what would be uncomfortable to most people. For example, assume risk involved in missionary work in a third world country. At different points in God's development of these encouragers, At different points in God's development of these encouragers, He puts, gets them used to going out of their comfort zone so that they build a patience and love to deal with difficult people. So they build a patience and a love within them to deal with difficult people around them because they have been exposed by God to people for whom difficult circumstances are an everyday occurrence. The devil builds a padded cage around too many people, gets them comfortable, gets them to believe they don't need Jesus Christ as Savior, keeps them chasing the next fad or meaningless thing that the media exposes to them, 
these people are told by too many parents and too many people that they are quote unquote special and quote unquote have anything just because they want it. And then they get into the work world one day and the company shows them quick they're not special and quote they can't have anything just because they want it. And so these people are not happy and focused on themselves and too many times find quote unquote meaning in checking for likes and affirmations on their social media page. And so these people need and so these people need to meet encouragers like Barnabas in Acts. So they so that they want what Barnabas has, a peace in this troubled world. Then they want to know what this encourager has that they don't have. And they ask him or her and they learn from them that the only real peace is found in having a saving faith in the only real peace is found in having a saving faith in Jesus Christ. Both the hard part and the balm of the Word of God need to be preached. But we are taught by God to forgive the world, for they know not what they do. But be hard on ourselves and move out of our comfort zone to share the gospel with others, to share the gospel with others and let people we meet know that if anyone comes to Jesus as it says in John 6 37 he will and no wise cast them out Romans 3 23 says for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God too many preachers almost seem to take a sort of glee in someone going to hell when they die this is an example of the Pharisee spirit in Matthew 9 10 to 17 Mark 2, 15-22, and Luke 5, 29-39, the Pharisees rebuked Jesus for eating with sinners, to which Jesus responded, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. Luke 23, 33 says, Luke 23, 33 says, And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him, and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. We should forgive others like Jesus does and follow his example, being an encourager, as it says in Matthew 5 14, through him, through him being a light in the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. God, I hope something I said helps when asking in your name and for your sake. Amen.